it's time for life. We're going to look at Christiana and John. If she does run, she could do another eight years. Yeah. <laughs> John, what are you doing? So the sister and mom of Christiana are going to move in with John. They all ain't got no suitcases. Boxes. Cardboard boxes for all I care. Plastic bags, although I hope you're reusing them because save the planet. But what is this? What mess is this? Like, the, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Thank you so much, John, for taking us in. I feel a lot safer here already. Yeah, random. The mom's, yeah, she just sounds depressed. She's like, yeah, get me out of here. I don't feel much safer here. I'm feeling comfortable. I don't feel like that must be very awkward. For she just met this guy, like she didn't even know of his existence, like he's new to her, and all of a sudden that's her son-in-law. But you know, John seems to be a stand-up dude. I keep saying that about some of the people here, and then you guys in the comments will be correcting me because you know so much more information about the people and what they've actually been up to. But also, yeah, he seems, he seems, he seems okay. I, I, I'm scared to say that because anytime I say that, they turn out to be absolute bums. But John, see, John, see, John seems okay. Yeah. He's showing pain. He's actually in pain, you know? When Christy relapses, she goes MIA. I hope she makes the right choice and makes the call for help. What I need to do. It he sat there and wallowed in his pain for about 2.5 seconds and then became Superman. Just like that is i need to go to dubuque and that's where they think she is it's like this place mm -hmm. and find her i don't think that's gonna be it show me where they are but oh. we'll so he's asking of the sister of christiana to show him where this place is which is a very bad idea because she's an ex addict as well so that is that's a, you can see that the guy is desperate, but he really, really wants to be Superman right now. If I have to go into these drug houses and look for her, I might just sit down next to her. Tell him. If we spot her, if we drove around and spot her, she'd probably run. People can uh, open up the door with a gun in your face. Bonnie and Clyde, baby, without the bullets. I He's on the road. Somebody go catch John. He's on the road. He's going. He doesn't care. He's going. Somebody go and catch John. Oh, John is on the road. Oh, hey, he's trying to be Superman. This he doesn't care. He's literally gonna go to this place where all these people are there, and it's super duper dangerous from how Christiana's mom is describing it. I have to find my wife before the police arrest her and take her to jail. If we just run away, we can stay together. Yeah, that is your plan. You guys are really gonna body and Clyde it without the guns oh but there might be some guns strong on you you guys are really just gonna do that that is your whole plan this is somebody who already doesn't seem stable okay she's obviously probably relapsed at this point we think she's relapsed huh hmm okay i just got a call from christy i have to find my wife before the police arrest her and take her to jail oh but wait they say that usually when she relapses she goes mia but apparently she's not gone mia or well, she's gone mia but she's called him at least so that's that's a positive thing it shows that she really feels like john is somebody that she can trust and that john is somebody who's not going to betray her trust and that is not gonna judge her or anything like that and that's why she reached out to him which in a sense is positive this is where she's supposed to be. Look at how dark this place is. Also, I don't know what camera shot this is. What it is, is a drone. These camera guys, they have some of the toughest jobs. They see a lot of things. They hear a lot of things. They have to be in weird places. I mean, look how dark this place is. It's actually genuinely dangerous. And these days, we know that anything can happen at any point. It doesn't matter if you have a camera crew following you or what's going on. It really does not matter. Uh, you just really need to be careful because people don't even care if a camera is pointed right in their face they will still do what they think they need to do uh, yeah this is very scary spooky <laughs> the voicemail oh john's gonna start running again he loves to run check him out oh he loves it and then they have this dramatic scene and i'm like where's the camera guy standing 
and then they hug. So glad you're all right. Yeah. I relapsed. I don't even know why. Let's go. Try. This thing is the most. It's it's just different. It really tears people apart. Like if people have not already started that path, they should definitely not. They should definitely not try and follow that path. They should definitely not be curious to even try it a little bit because we all see from these type of shows or if you know people in your life or if you deal in the medical field, you know that this thing, it's not like you can't even blame the person anymore because it takes a hold of the person so badly. It is terrible. Don't ever start start that mess, honestly. And now to deal with emotions and the overwhelmness and and then it just made it worse sorry that's the thing it will always make it worse it will make every situation worse always always eventually mm -hmm. uh, i'm just glad you're safe thank you get in here and get warm man glad you came he's so so caring come here in here and get warm and this and that and she's also very polite obviously saying thank you people like destiny could learn some humility like this girl although i might be speaking too soon because who knows what she's going to be up to later on but yeah no he they have not even done the tan tan tana yet they have not consummated the marriage he seems okay with it as okay as one can be but yeah he just wants his wife to get right you know yeah babe i'd do anything for you I know. I was very worried that John was going to be disappointed. You're my world. I'm not used He said you're my world. Used to reaching out and asking for help. Not used to being loved and not being beat. And that's why she called him. She really just feels like this is somebody with a different outlook. He's never been through this. Whereas the mom and the sister have been through this before. And she's like, yep. He's, he's going to be the one who's going to look at me with a different view. And he's not going to judge me. First of all, he married her out the gate. She just got out of prison and he was like, let's do this thing, you know. I really love you. It's okay. I'm taking my fugitive wife home to Cresco. Hey, hey, he's taking her home. Why is he not taking her back to the halfway house? Why is he taking her? Why is he taking her home? In fact, the guy on the phone should have been like, Instead of just being like, oh, she's disappeared. Oh, you got 30 days to pick up her stuff. He should have been like, oh, and also, if you happen to see her, please bring her back. Please, in fact, bring her back. Scratch the please. This is an order. Bring her back. But he didn't say that, so now he's going to Bonnie and Clyde it. And then we have to figure out it. Oh, she's eating something. I wonder what that is. Must have been, maybe it's him. Maybe he brought her some food. Not I put nothing past John. Up until now, he's just been this very caring dude. Exactly what we're gonna do from here. Also, is she now fetching her seatbelt? Please don't get a ticket on your way home as a fugitive. That is not a very good idea. I notice in this show a lot of people don't like wearing uh they don't like wearing seatbelt. I don't know what that's all about. I don't wanna do this anymore. Might as well Bonnie and Clyde this whole situation and turn this truck around and go to a non-extraditable country and sip Mai Tais on the beach. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump, stomp, and sometimes the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start a what? A what? God bless. See you tomorrow.